Hi students, uh, welcome back. So in the previous video, I explained about the maximum mode uh, system 8086 system. Now let us see the timing diagram for the memory read timing and the memory write timing in the maximum mode of 8086 microprocessor. So this is just like a minimum mode. Uh, but the only difference here is we are uh, activating here the status signals. So the maximum mode uh, will be decided by the status signals given by the different processor. Because maximum mode is having the multiprocessor, it supports a multiprocessor. So which processor has to be activated that will be decided by the status signals S2, S1 and S0. So one bus cycle indicates T1 to T4, you call it as one bus cycle. T1 to T4 is one bus cycle. So in this one bus cycle, what operation it will be performed? It fetch the data, decode the data and execute the data. So these three operations will be performed in only one bus cycle that is during the four clock pulse. So now let us see in each clock pulse, what are the operations that are performed for reading the data in processor? Uh, the processor has to read the data. First address latch enable. So first the address has to be placed from the during first clock pulse. First clock pulse. Address will be placed on the address. Address latch enable will be activated. Means we have to read the data from the input output or the memory devices. After that during two clock pulse S2 by S bar is active and the remaining two clock pulse it is inactive. Again, it becomes active. Means for every two clock pulse, the status signals will be active and deactive. And address and status. So first during uh, T1 to T2, during two clock pulses, the address will be placed and the remaining T3 to T4, T4 the status will be placed. So I said uh, uh, whatever the A19 to A19 uh, S7 to a16 s3 so during first clock pulse uh, the address will be placed on the bus and the after the remaining clock pulses the status will be placed on the bus and coming to the demultiplexed so whatever the multiplexed ad0 to ad15 will be there that should be demultiplexed in the clock pulse so first address will be placed on address bus and the remaining clock pulse data will be placed on data bus so this is a memory read timing. So MR D, DC bar means memory read cycle. So 0 bar, 0 bar becomes 1. So that's why this comes down, 0 bar. It, this is active in this state. During T1 to T4, memory read operations will be for, performed. In the same way, DT by R bar. So this is a read. So 1 by 1 bar means 0. Okay, this is 0 bar. 0 bar means 1. So here uh, R bar, whenever R is 0, so that is act, uh, down, 0 bar means active. So read operation will be active. R bar, 0 bar. So that's why this is comes down. And so whenever the read is uh, ready to accept the uh, the processor is ready to read the data, then data enable will be placed during the last clock pulse. During last clock pulse, the data should be make enable. And these are the operations, uh, the functions that will be performed for the status signals. Whenever it is 0, 0, 0, all zeros means the interrupt will be acknowledged. Because this is the bar. Whenever 0 bar, 0 bar, 0 bar means everything is 1 means it's nothing but interrupt acknowledgement will be there. Means the processor is ready to take some data. So that is, it is uh, sending the acknowledgement signal uh, to accept the data from different processors or devices. 0, 0, 1, I will read operation. 1, 0, I will write. Whenever these two will be there, the halt condition will be occurred. 1, 0, 0, opcode has to be fetched. 1, means to read the data first, opcode has to be fetched whenever this condition is occurred. Whenever 1, 0, 1, memory read operation. 1, 1, 0, memory write. If all ones means... 1 bar, 1 bar, 1 bar means it's everything becomes 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, everything will be 0 means it is passive state. It should not work. It is in deactive state. So this is a memory read cycle. Now let us see the memory write cycle. Memory write timing diagram. So in this memory writing, uh, write timing in maximum mode. 
so j just same as a read but the only difference is here instead of a write a read we are just putting the write so the write signal will be uh, active in during t t3 during last two clock pulses okay uh, write the data is active in this clock pulse so first the uh, address will be placed on the address bus and the next data out whatever the data that is ready to uh, that is a valid data data out that will be placed on d0 to d15 so that data has to be right whether it may be a memory write or io write so from to where if you want so both for memory and io the uh, for both the, we are having the same timing diagram so the processor has to write the data to the memory device or to the input output devices so this will be active so always in the memory write timing the dt by r bar is in high state data transmitting so that is one one means this is in high state den bar data enable so that is a one bar means zero so this becomes the active down so zero means it becomes down so this will be active during the first clock pulse to the end of the clock pulse the data is enabled so first you have to place the address latch in the first clock pulse first place the address latch enable next the status signals during first two clock pulse it is active and the next two clock pulse it is in, inactive and this uh, bus high enable will be placed on the first clock pulse and the remaining clock pulse will be first status so this is about the right timing diagram of uh, maximum mode the only difference is here you have to uh, put the memory write instead of memory read and this is the functions for status signals is uh, same for both memory read and write whenever all zeros means interrupt technology all zeros means zero bar zero bar zero bar means everything becomes one so all ones means uh, the processor is ready to accept the data from the external devices so that's we it's sending the interrupt acknowledgement signal to the external devices or external processor co-processors everything 001 i will read 010 i will write when both is there halt 100 opcode fetch 101 memory read 110 memory write if all ones means 0 bar 0 bar 0 bar means uh, so 1 bar 1 bar 1 bar means it completely zero that is in passive state so this is about the memory write timing so, uh, diagram in maximum mode thank you